Hi everybody, it's David Kino with Basecamp Trading, and this is your free video for um, Wednesday, March 24th. So we're looking at the markets. What I want to do uh, for you is do a little comparative here uh, of all the different indices. Uh, you can see the Russell, I mean the S&P 500 is up slightly today uh, as of about 2.15, uh, up about 0.38%. So, uh, but generally speaking, the uh, daily chart has it as an inside bar, roughly neutral, centered right around the eight day exponential moving average. Now we compare that to the Dow. The Dow is up 0.81%. So we are, uh, we didn't even have a slightly higher high here today. So we're more bullish in the Dow. Now, the difference between the Dow and the S&P 500 really is um, size. Uh, this is 30 stocks. The S&P 500 is 500 stocks. So I think the broader market index is a better indication of overall market behavior. Um, and we take a look at that. So this is large cap. Then we look at the mid and small cap, which is the Russell 2000. Now, the Russell 2000 is an inside bar. However, we have significantly weaker momentum. So falling momentum in the mid and small cap companies. Now, these have been bouncing very strongly uh, recently. Uh, and then now a pullback uh, to a significant support and resistance level, the 50-day EMA. The reason why I'm particularly worried about this is mid and small cap companies should uh, bounce, should do better in um, a, an expanding economic environment. Maybe this is just temporary, but it's something to note that the rest of the S&P 500 is higher. All the mid and small caps just are, are barely positive. Who knows, at the end of the day, we might be negative. And then contrasting all of that with a subsector of the um, uh, of the large caps, the tech stocks in the NASDAQ 100. Clearly, we have a lower high, lower low. We are below the 8 EMA. We are down six tenths of a percent. And we have pretty consistent downside momentum on the hourly chart. So you can see the major large cap stocks are weaker. Um, now, there is some area of support. Uh, so it can fall a little ways uh, before we can potentially catch ourselves and then consolidate to go to new all time highs. But as of right now, markets are weaker uh, in the NASDAQ. So the reason why I contrast that is the NASDAQ and the S&P, well, the NASDAQ and the major NASDAQ stocks and the major S&P 500 stocks, the tech stocks, have been what has been driving the market higher for the past year. Now we are seeing some weakness. So we need to keep that in mind. It may affect our longer um, duration trading. Um, you can't ignore the major tech stocks because they are major components uh, of the two most important indices. Uh, and may, um, you have to under, also understand the S&P 500 is 80% of the US market by market capitalization. So you can't sleep on them. Be aware that there is some weakness. Even though we're slightly positive today, look for potentially uh, the market sliding lower if continued weakness in the major tech stocks continues. Okay, thanks a lot.